Hey family, Naisha on with the word. Holy Spirit, have your way for your welcome in this place. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all, so I was, did not plan on recording a video for starters, but when you let Holy Spirit have his way and when your channel is literally his channel and for his glory so that you could speak to the nations, sometimes it happens that way. Okay, so, um, again, I was right here chilling with the Lord, and I was reading in Matthew 7. So I'm reading, I'm reading, and I get to verse 6, and I'm going to read it for context. It says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you my 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 so if you're like me you've read that verse many many times and you figure you know for me for me i'm gonna speak for me okay i'm not gonna speak for all of us you know but you figure like um don't give that which is holy like for me i always looked at that in the context of like relationships like especially when the lord was delivering me from um a secular relationship right a worldly relationship um i was going to say a toxic relationship but honestly like if you're involved in anything worldly as far as like fornication um you know clubbing drinking you know you got these friends that you met in all sort of places all of those are considered toxic relationships even if you know you guys you know don't necessarily argue it's toxic because it's not you know producing fruit of the spirit right like you guys bind and i know it's a term called trauma binding trauma binding trauma bonding trauma bond trauma and b-o-n-d i-n-g and basically you click so to speak i can't think of the word with people based on um, basically your trauma. So if you guys like, you know, drinking, you know, you guys are friends because, you know, you like drinking. I got a phone ringing. It's one phone, you know, put that on notice. The fact that it's ringing in these headphones, but these headphones are supposed to be so is this phone connect these headphones connect to both phones at the same time? Okay, never mind. Anywho, so when you have these relationships that's built on, you know, trauma, like you guys went through this sort of similar situation and now you're friends, you know, you guys bond off of that. And sometimes you don't even realize you're trauma bonded until like the Lord delivered you. Right? So in the sense that, you know, when I first read this or when the time that I was reading it was for me in relation to relationships that I partook in uh, in the world, right? And it was like, you know, obviously you can see, you know, the correlation basically saying like you, you were set apart, but yet you were in these sorts of places, which I would not have you to be in right so you were given that which was holy to the dogs meaning not calling the people dogs but saying in those situations like you were given over to seducing spirits right so as i'm reading i stop there and it's like new revelation flows like whoa got it i i got it and understand this no matter how many times you read a verse and you think you got to understand it. Like I just said, I thought I had an understanding, you know, of what that meant. And it still means that. But understand the word of God, right, is good in season and out of season. Okay? Okay. Amen. So, I'm crossing my legs. <laughs> so, I asked the Lord this question in my mind, right? So, I asked it in my head. When I'm around people... You know, and they start, you know, they be talking about things that I personally don't want to talk about. 
you know, and it's like, for me, I be wanting to shift the conversation to God. Like, anytime they're talking about stuff, it's like, nah, I want to shift the conversation. I don't want to have to always feel like I need to move. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody having a conversation that, you know, is not fruitful, especially to my ears, I'm like, I go sit in the hallway, <laughs> you know, I go walk up and it's funny I said I go sit in the hallway because I'm really referring to me being at work. And I'm when I'm around people that just like, you know, talk in certain ways that is not fruitful. It's like I asked the Lord in my mind, like, how do I, you know, have a conversation with these people? And I asked this a while back, right? And sometimes this this lip okay. <sighs> Let me calm down. Cause I get excited. I get super excited when the Lord responds to me. <laughs> I get so excited when I think, you know, one thing and I'll be like, well, that was just a thought I had. Like maybe the Lord ain't really, you know, paying attention to it. But that just goes to show that he hears every thought even. Like not even just what comes out your mouth, but even your thoughts. Like God hears that too. So that's, I'm getting emotional about that. But I didn't even put weight on that like it ain't like I was in prayer like God how about this it was literally just like like man, how do I even act in this situation like I'm tired of like literally me having a conversation like I'm tired of walking away like I'm tired of like I want to come here and say no we're gonna talk about the Lord <laughs> right but I mean that's not you know comely for a woman or for anybody to just that's rude okay that's that's really rude and let all things be done in love okay so that would have been rude to just say, y'all need to stop talking about that. We need to talk about the Lord. Even though they, that's my thought process. Like, I want y'all to stop talking about that and let's talk about the Lord. Okay. So <laughs> I asked that question in my mind, let it go. And this has, it's been over two weeks. And as I'm reading this today and the word says, give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. It is a fly in her. Look at these distractions. Look at these distractions. I'm not editing none of this out. Even the phone call, I'm not editing nothing out, right? Because this is the genuine things that I be going through sometimes when I be editing. I be trying to edit out stuff like this. They let a fly in this house. They let a fly in this house. They let a fly in the house. distraction uh not today satan or any day for that matter so as i read that it's like whoa for one trust that when the lord wants you to speak and assert his authority in a place trust that he will do that and trust as well that you will obey that and in these situations, it's not like I felt the Lord leading me. Oh, go talk to uh, them about me. You know, it's just me being, you know, so like trying to protect my ear gaze, like not wanting to hear that, that I'm like, you know, I know what I want to talk about. And this is not it. You know what I'm saying? And I know that it'll bless you as well as me when we had these sorts of conversations. So reading this, it's like. I probably should start this video over because I feel like I didn't went way too, I didn't went almost nine minutes and I still ain't even got to the point. The fact that these are real thoughts that I be having when I be recording. And look at that. You know what? Nay, it's not about you, babe. Okay. Keep it going and you're not editing none of this out. Ay, ay. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna look so crazy though, Lord. Like I feel like I'm look so crazy. Humility. <laughs> Humility. <laughs> okay, say so always okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Matthew seven and six. Sometimes people are so consumed in their behavior 
meaning that of the world, that you bring in such beauty will only hurt you. Because the last part where it says, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. I look up this word rend. This word rend means to, uh, let me look it up one more time because, <laughs> glory be to God. <laughs> glory be to God. Rend, it means to tear something in pieces to cause great emotional pain. Understand this, when you are so passionate about the Lord, I'm talking about where you feel like, even like I said, when I'm around those type of situations, it's like, I know God don't approve of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you doing this? Like, but obviously I can't say God don't approve of this. Why are you doing this? Because like, if I'm not being led by the Holy Spirit to say that to them, that could just be, you know, further. That could be like, you know, those type of Christians that constantly walk around trying to beat people over the head with the Bible and not using wisdom. Right. So that could be very foolish of me to just, you know, assert such authority that was not, you know, authorized. Like the Lord didn't authorize me to do that. Right. So it could hurt you especially if people aren't receptive i'm talking about like when your passion is so deep from the lord and when people aren't receptive to the message like and, and when i say receptive i'm not saying like they agree with you i'm not saying that i'm talking about to where they start bashing the message or they start you know going in because understand we're still in flesh and it's it's like if somebody says something about your mama like back in the day like when you was a kid and somebody said your mama and it made you want to fight it's kind of like that. <laughs> if I'm being real, it's kind of like that. Like if somebody like speak against God, it kind of make you want to. But this is what I'm talking about with the passion for the for the word for the Lord. Like this is this that passion I'm talking about. And the definition it says to tear something into two or more pieces, to wrench something violently, to cause great emotional pain to a person or in their heart. Like, look, that's the last word I said, or their heart. Like, it'll cause great emotional pain if you assert yourself in such a way, um, and, and not even just in such a way, but like, even if you're coming in love and somebody, you know, oh my goodness, do not, you know, receive you know even just what you're saying it's not even about them agreeing it's just about them receiving it you know not being unwise about it you know what i'm saying that's why i said don't give that which is holy like trying to assert you know that if you can discern a person being of a not right spirit And you trying to bring this beautiful thing to them, they're not going to receive it as beautiful because they have some ugliness, so to speak, to them, which is those spirits. Right. So some things the Lord equips you with. Right. And then in those situations, it calls for wisdom and adhering and yielding to the Holy Spirit. So as I'm reading this and literally he just reminded me of the question that i had in my mind like to look to let me know nay like i heard you and this is why in those situations where you want to say something that i don't say nay say something like i don't tell you to say something but it's because it is don't give that which is holy because ultimately you know maybe maybe it's not their time to hear it maybe they have heard it and they've rejected it but only god knows and when you, you just have to be sensitive to the spirit in those situations Right. Or like I said, what I do, you know, especially if I'm not hearing the Lord say, say something to them, like I separate myself. Like I just be like, you know what? I'm out. I'm going to go this way because that's not fruitful for me. It's not. It's vexing my spirit. <laughs> OK, it's, it's a vexation to my spirit. So do not give that which is holy um, to the dogs nor cast your pearls a pearl is a, a beautiful you know delicate very valuable thing why would you go give that to somebody un undeserving unwilling you know or prematurely let's i like that word prematurely 
Maybe it's premature for them, right? Only the Lord knows. That's why it's important that we follow the Lord and lean not on our own understanding. Because our understanding is, I don't want to hear this. I want them to talk about the God. The God. The God of this world. The God of the universe. The God of all creation. The God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. The God of, you know. <laughs> I want them to talk about God. Like, I want to go around the conversation and people talk about God. But ultimately, that's not the world we live in, right? That's which the Bible tells us about. That's not the world we live in where everybody is so fired up to talk about God. Like some people are literally caught up in gossiping. And it it's a humbling experience because I think like, you know, I remember when that was me, not necessarily, you know, one thing I didn't do really was gossip in the workplace. Like I just, I didn't do that. I don't know. I was just always about professionalism. Just about professionalism, you know, because, and especially in healthcare, God forbid, like, you take care of somebody's mother, father, and they hear you in the break room, you know, because they walking past the break room saying, you know, cursing or saying something like, like, that's just how I always looked at it. Like, just being a professional in the workplace. And I always separated my relationships. Like, yeah, we at work and you will think we just the best friend. But as soon as I leave her, I got another life. Like, not, a, not like that, but like, knowing how to separate the two. Right? I don't, I never let them bleed over. But... Um, there are still people that hasn't come to that knowledge yet. And I just have to be, for me personally, I just have to be more considerate, more patient, more understanding, more empathetic, empathetic towards it, and prayerful. Definitely more prayerful. Definitely, definitely more prayerful. And this word blessed me because literally like i'd be in place and i'd be like i feel like i'm being a bad steward of the lord i feel like i've been a bad you know serving of the lord i feel like i'm being a bad friend to jesus because i'm not telling people about him and he and jesus himself understand these are jesus words like it's in red in matthew 7 and 6. He, this is him telling me this so it's like okay i'm being a good friend to jesus because i'm doing what he says and he said if you love me you'll keep my commandments <laughs> But hey, that's the word, and it's 17 minutes in. But I believe it's going to make somebody's day, even if it's just one person. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Even if it's just one person. He said, I'm the God of Isaac, I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham. Started with Abraham. Right? One. It only takes one. It only takes one. Okay. But I'm off because <laughs> I'll keep on rambling. But, amen, and I'm just a messenger.